guys, it's Bells here, and sorry about the lighting. Uh, with the lights on like this, uh, you can't really see her coloring really well. So I'm just keeping the overhead lights off, and just like this, so you can really see her nice shading. So as I just described, uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on my latest custom. Uh, this is a portrait model of my horse Caprice, and I'm so proud of her lately. We got champion at our first show, so that's why I made a custom of her. So I'm kind of going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do a chestnut repaint, so let's get started. Um, first I started off with like a macaroni and cheese color, and the picture that'll be on the screen right now. It has like a uh, little orange markings in some places. That's just what I used to mark out uh, where the shading would be. So after I did that, I did my first layer of the chestnut coloring and I just kept going and going until I got the nice chestnut base coat. And then I got my chalk pastels and I put the black. She has black shading. My chestnut has black shading because her father so for a normal chestnut, you'd probably have brown shading in these points, but since Caprice's father was a bay, um, she has black shading, so normal chestnut shading. So she has shading around the barrel, on her shoulders, just in the muscle creases, right here, and on the joints, but, um, the, the shading doesn't really show up very well on the joints. So same with here. She has shading on the barrel, shoulder muscles, and on her hindquarters. Again, since Caprice's father was a bay, um, her black shading on her face is very prominent. She has very strong black shading around her eyes and nose. Uh, there will be a picture on the screen right here. So after you've done all of your shading on your chestnut, just get your chestnut base color and paint the mane and the tail. And basically use the exact same colors you did whenever you shaded the uh, muscles on your horse. So just use like a black in the tail. Chestnuts, they have a lot of different colors in their tails. Same with the mane, just add a lot of different colors in there and it'll look great. Now with the leg markings, I got a paintbrush that I used a lot and that I never really cleaned out so I just used the tip of that to outline the markings and then I painted the inside and another prominent thing about Caprice is that she has chroming if you guys didn't know what chroming is it's little spots on their socks so there's a spot right there that little one back there and you turn around um, she actually in real life has a really big spot right there and yeah, she just has a lot of chroming. Now for the hooves, what a lot of people do is they just paint it gray or peach and then they get acrylics and paint the lines. Um, I usually do that. I tried something different this time and it looks a lot more realistic. I used my chalk pastels like I did with the shading and I just used that to do the stripes and it looks a lot more um, realistic and faded and it just looks a lot better in my opinion. Now for her eyes. I used the end of a paintbrush to just dot on some brown and then dot on black. A little bit of a smaller circle on top of that. And then I got the end of my used paintbrush that was a little stiff at the tip and I did the little white dot same with this eye now that little white dot really gives your horse a life and character so be sure to never forget that when you're doing a custom so yeah that's basically it for this tutorial comment down below what kind of horse i should paint next uh like a balmino a bay um paint horse whatever you want me to do this is one of my favorite customs, and it's the first custom I've done where I've actually shaded the horse. So I'm really, really proud of it. I hope you guys like this tutorial video, and I hope it helped. And maybe you guys want to paint a chestnut mare. So, yeah.
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Vamos, Sodas!